Okay, now since the locations of our gauges are defined by their center points, we should next create a point at the center of this rectangle. We can do this using a nifty method I've composed. First, uh, let's zoom on the rectangle slightly. And uh, we'll go in the draw menu and select construction point. Then click anywhere on this edge, but preferably not at the middle. For information, the C that appears means that your point will be drawn on the line. So now let's tell ANSYS that we want our point to be at the middle of this line and keep it there. We'll do this using a constraint, so click on constraints in the sketching toolbox. Now select midpoint and uh, click on the construction point and the line. Just so you know, you can see that particular constraint if you click yes next to show constraints. And if you go down, you'll be able to find it right here. And you have the options of deleting it if you'd like, but we won't do that here. Um, but deleting constraint is very handy if you accidentally over constrain your sketch. Okay, so let's uh, also put a midpoint on the opposite side of the rectangle. We'll now connect these points by a line. So in the uh, draw menu, select line and uh, click on the two points. Finally, we'll create another midpoint on this line. So it's the same process over again. There, our center point should now be fixed relative to the rectangle. We will now be free to move it to its correct location. But before doing this, wouldn't it be nice to simply duplicate this gauge to create the other two? Well, that's definitely possible, and we can do just that using the good old copy-paste. Under the Modify menu, select Copy. Now highlight all edges and the middle point. Next, select Paste and click to paste the gauges where desired. I'll put one right here and the other one here. Now, um, to stop pasting, right-click and select End. <coughs> 